I'm Jeff, and you want to know how to reset the shortcut keys in Microsoft Excel. Well, the short answer is you don't really do that in Microsoft Excel. It is something you can do in Microsoft Word, but Excel has uh, different customization features. Uh, as you can see, you can still customize simply by right-clicking up here on the toolbar and going all the way down to customize. All sorts of things you can customize here, the commands, the options that you have, the toolbars themselves. You can change them around, make them your own. Uh, the tools you use most often, the reasons you use them most often, will usually dictate the layout you want, and you can set it up that way. If, on the other hand, you really want to know about shortcut keys, that's over here in Microsoft Word. Uh, same basic idea. If we go to Tools, Customize, Commands, uh, Keyboard is a button down here. Click that, and you see we've got all these different command families and all the different commands. Uh, if I go to the Edit family and go to Edit Cut, that's when you want to cut something, delete it, and copy it at the same time, you can see it's already got a couple of command keys, Control-X or Shift-Delete. I can click in here where it says Press New Shortcut Key, and I'm going to say Control-Shift-Exclamation Point. It says it's unassigned, which is good, and if I hit Assign now, that's another thing I could press to make it actually cut. However, if I say, you know what, I don't want to do that. Let's reset everything back to the way it was. I'm going to click Reset All right down at the bottom of the window, and say yes, and it's reset back to the way it was. Close that up, and you're back to normal. That's about as customized as you can get. I'm Jeff, and this is how to reset shortcut keys in Microsoft Office.